Okay, recording on. Hello everybody. And he starts his timer and he checks very carefully to make sure that he's actually recording this time because as many of you will already know, last time I put out a video where I didn't manage to press the record button. It's not like a big red button, it's just a key combination that I have to press. Somehow I forgot to do it. I think I try and blame the recording software that I'm using now, which doesn't make it very obvious that you're recording something. It doesn't have nice big bright red numbers in the corner of the screen. It just has a little tiny circle of purple dots that go round and round in the top left corner and I didn't notice that it wasn't going round. So anyway, I have decided I'm going to take you all on t a tour of the places that I uh, spent my time in in the last episode just to try and show you what happened. Um, go back through my base here. Ooh. Hello, we've got tree, tree action going on here. Right, now I started the previous episode down here um, at the zombie dungeon, which I had reached at the end of the previous episode. Now, what I did was I dug around the edge of the dungeon here, uh, uh. and I put, in a, I put in some holes in the ceiling that we can do like this. To let wow there I'm not touching the chicken right <laughs> I've got a chicken now isn't that interesting I wonder if I'll get eggs and can do use them for something um, so I spent some time around here doing this kind of thing I emptied the chests and um, I got some bread, I got some buckets, I got some string from them, and I got a couple of name tags and a, a music disc. So that was really what I what I'd spent my time doing at first. That was probably half the episode I spent around here. Um, then I came back to my base and I realised that the trees had started growing very nicely. Oh, I, I think I. I had to clear out some bad guys in there. Um, I came into here and had a look at the, the trees, and um, and everything was. Oh, I assume any of the uh, noises that I hear of mobs are up in the pool party that's going on up above my head. And um, oh. This, these grow in such a fashion at this stage that um, it's difficult to uh, make them so that they decay properly, isn't it? I keep waiting for a tree to grow through me as well. Hmm. Um, okay, so I'm doing all right for wood now. I'm not not really in any difficulties anymore. Um, I've got strings. I could actually um, make myself a bow. Oh look, this, this was the other thing I did. The, this farm, I um, just expanded it a little more to have some um, land alongside the main farm which was tilled soil rather than to actually put down any any extra crops and we know that that makes them grow all the more quickly oh what am I doing right let's turn some of this into bread so I'm all right for food now um, the next thing I was going to be done I, I think really I've I've got no trouble at all with trees anymore 
got plenty of wood growing. Um, we've even got extra saplings that I don't need to use. Um, we can start putting things in here. Now, what I had said that I was going to do, I should pick some coal up, shouldn't I? Um, yes, what I said what I was doing at the end of the last episode was I was going to make myself a portal. Let's put my valuables in this one as well while I'm, while I'm at it. Uh, I'll count redstone as valuables just to make sure that we're we're clear of materials. Right, um, got enough building materials. Yes, look, things are growing still nicely. Now, along here, to, to be getting on with the episode, I, I had amazed myself by coming along and finding that I met my previous tunnel exactly at this point. Now, here, I believe, now this is the place where we should go into a, a cave that several people have been into before now. Scoti, um, and Black Belt Crafter, I remember. Uh, somebody else, probably. Now, I can hear a skeleton walking along above me. Sure that this should break out at any moment. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a cave. Right, now, the difficult bit is going to be a hello dealing with this man. Oh, my sword really needs replacing before I deal with him. Um, let's just sort that out for the moment. I suppose I really could have made myself a diamond sword, couldn't I? That would have probably been quite useful. Now, Um. Oh, creeper! <laughs> They're always fun. Mm. Right, so a busy cave. not paying any attention to me. That's crazy. Um, he's gone over there. Mobs really are strange in this 1.8. Hey. Right, there's the... Hello, creepy. What? just insane. Why? Why do they run away? Right, this is wasting me my time, isn't it? But uh, it's all good. Go deal with this creeper um, and his friend. And his friend as well. Wow. Okay, it gets a bit. Well, I'm going to block that off over there. Oh, done it again.
you, sir. Hello. Right, just to make sure that he's not going to bother us. Right, okay, so we have... We have a nice high wall. I can go up one more block, can't I? Um, I'll have some light this side of it. And what I'll do is... I think this is going to be a good place for me to... Where did I come out? Down there, right. I will build my portal here. Because you need a nice good high wall to build a portal against. Now what we do is we dig into here and make a trench so that the um, water won't flow down here and put out the lava. not going to actually reach that far. There's plenty of lava down there. Now, what I'll do next is get the the water. So, it's going to go one, two, three. Right, so if I put the water right up there, I'll just flow down there. Um... Right, so one there, and one there, and one down. Oops, did pick one up on the third one. Okay. Okay, so the next one goes here and here and one up there. Whoops, the water started flooding a little. Finally, ooh. <laughs> I've put out that lava, haven't I? But it's too late for me to be worried about it. Where's my water? Oh. Fetch. Okay, I didn't put out much lava after all. Now, I certainly have my flint. I remember checking that earlier. Light the portal up. There we go. Now, do I go straight in there now? This is an interesting cave anyway, isn't it? Of course, I remember there's, there's a few good things around here. Um, I'm sure this cave doesn't get too dangerous. Yep. Okay. There's gold to be had when I come back. So, we're at 13 minutes. It's probably worth my while popping into the uh, the nether at this moment just to have a good look around. There we go. Now, I believe... We should arrive in a cave. I've seen several people go to the nether and arrive in the same cave. Yes, we are. We are exactly at that point according to my coordinates. Good, good, good. We know where we are now then. Now, my um, one of my main ambitions for being in the nether is to um, collect quartz. I just like it as a building material and it will be part of the 
proof of living well, which I'm attempting to do. Hmm, what was going on there? I'm attempting to pick this out, but I think the nether is probably still loading because uh, I was getting a few blocks reappearing there. Better not be any lava behind here, otherwise I'll be running. Okay, now some more here. I heard a pig man and he hurt himself. It was nothing to do with me, I did nothing. I've always been scared of hurting the pigmen inadvertently. Right, now, I know that digging up... Now, Scotty went and dug up... No, John Fall went and dug straight up there. I think that probably links through to this cave just up here. Anyway... So I think we can... It's all horribly close to the, um, the lava. You can hear the lava ocean out there. It's horrifically close. But by my calculations, you can come out here at on level. Yep, yep, this is all good. I think at this kind of level, assuming I don't hit a, a little pocket of lava on the way up, then I'll come out beside the the lava sea. <laughs> the ghasts are uh, waiting for me. But I at this moment I am not intending to make this oh look, way up there already. Yeah. Thanks matey. Right. So you see, this is where I come out, but I'm not really intending to um to do an expedition onto the surface just this moment. I, I'm just poking my nose into the nether to collect my quartz. How am I doing on the quartz? I've got 30 of them at the moment. 30 pieces of quartz. Not the blocks. Okay. So... Just have a quick nose around in here. Hopefully not dropping nose first into lava while I do so. Hmm. Not finding any more quartz yet. But Hello matey. Yeah, yeah. We're friends, you and me. Oh look. Okay, there's the bedrock in there. Yeah, I think we we'd seen that in some other people's videos. This is this is pigmen party night out in here. Hello, would you mind stepping aside while I mine a little bit of quartz? <laughs> look, really? bit more quartz. He's, he's saying he's hurt again. Someone's saying they're hurt. Okay, now I think at this point we're probably coming towards the end of the episode. So I wonder whether to pop back into the... Right, actually, no, no, no. All right. Let me think. I've got a plan, and my plan involves bringing materials for building something through to the nether and I think this room here might be a really good place for what, I've, what I'm intending to do because I can go to any height but this is a nice safe enclosed cave so I will if I pop back to the 
the overworld before the end of the episode then we will see what about now we've got a route through to there we can bring things with us and that's it that's the end of day five we're on to day six so well thank you very much for watching and please come back next time bye Thank you.